In the video before this one, I talked about how to restrict your text layers to specific fonts. In other words, how to lock the text layers to certain fonts. And that's exactly what we did. We created a drop down menu for this text to where a designer or an editor in a Mogart can only choose between three fonts. And those were Impact, Times New Roman, and Tahoma. So it doesn't really matter if they select this text layer and try to navigate over to the character panel. And if they try to pick another font like Arial or anything like that, they can click on it all day long and uh, it will not do anything because it will only be locked to these three fonts. So that's what we did in the previous video. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you check it out because in this video, we're gonna pick up where we left off in the previous video. So in this video, here's what we're gonna create. We're gonna do the same thing, but this time, let me show you. We're gonna do the same thing, right? We're gonna pick up where we left off. So we have three options, three fonts, but we're gonna create this custom option. So when they click on custom, then and only then they can go over here and change it to any font that they want. So Arial, as you can see, whatever you pick, it will actually work for you. So, but if you have impact selected and you try to change it in here, it, it will not work. So we're gonna add this custom option. So let's do that right now. We're gonna go to this project. This is the project where we left off from the previous video. So I'm gonna select this, press E to reveal this drop down menu. And we need to add on to it. So we're gonna press edit and then uh, we're gonna add a fourth option. So press this plus sign and we're gonna add custom. Okay, then we have four of them, that's good. Now we have a custom option, we have it in here as well, so it's the same concept. Then we're gonna select this, press E twice to reveal the expression. So we basically went to the source text property, we have our expression what we uh, wrote in the previous video, so we're gonna add on to this expression. We're gonna go to the fourth option. Remember we talked about the first option, the second option, and the third option, but the fourth, when they choose custom, right now if I select this, it's gonna break it. We want to say something else. So we're gonna say comma, we're gonna add a fourth item. And in here, we're basically going to point to the font of the current layer. Now you can do a number of different ways. You can pick whip to the source text like this. You can say style font. And basically you're saying, hey, grab the font that you're currently using. So if I click away, that that's it. That's, that's how you add the fourth option. So now if you choose impact, it's gonna to go to impact. If you choose Times New Roman, it's gonna go there, Tahoma. And then when you choose custom, then you can select this and then you can add any kind of fun from the list. Now, let me do this. I'm gonna right click here, go to open an essential graphics. So this is what we had before, but we also wanna add the same kind of option to the Mogart. So we're gonna click on this added properties and this time, we're gonna enable custom font selection. So when you do that, press okay. Now when they choose custom, the editors in Premiere, right? When they bring in the Mogart, they can actually choose any fonts from the list. Now, if it's not set to a custom, if it's set to impact, it doesn't matter what they do here, it's not gonna go there, it's gonna stay at impact. So when they go to custom, then and only then, they can go to any font that they want and it will work. All right, well, that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching it. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, please consider liking this video, sharing it, subscribing to this YouTube channel, or even leaving a comment below, because you know we'd love to hear from you. And by the way, we do have a free mentoring group on Facebook that you should definitely join today by going to ukramedia.com slash community. It's again, totally free. It's full of very talented, very passionate, uh, all kinds of people from all over the world who love to help or to get helped. Because remember, this group was created solely for mentoring. So you're either there to help somebody else or to get helped. So definitely join. Uh, I mean, you're going to be rubbing shoulders with the legends of this industry. So ukramedia.com slash community. And if you want to support what we do here at Ukramedia, you should definitely check out our tools and courses at ukramedia.com. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.